Hey, Dr. Brett here, psychologist, consultant, and coach. Let's talk for a moment about some really cool ways to do life. What if we were crazy proactive? In other words, we avoided nothing. Think about all the things in your life that you're avoiding right now. One of the things I ask people when they start to work with me is what are you avoiding and what are you not expressing? There are so many people that don't express things to loved ones, to bosses, to coworkers. There's stuff that upsets us every day and a lot of times we just stuff it. So consider actually communicating, bringing it up. Remember, the more you communicate, the better you get. Why is that? Because you get feedback and then you realize you can tweak it and get better each time you do it. So what are you avoiding right now? Take a look in your life and what are you going to do about that avoidance? What are you not expressing and what are you going to do about that? Okay, so one principle right here is to avoid nothing. The other is to be as present as possible. I say that because almost none of us are Buddhas. We're not going to be present 24 hours a day. When I say present, I mean like right here, right now. A lot of people, they listen to themselves in conversation as opposed to listening to others. That's a perfect example of not being present. You can tell when you're sitting down at lunch with a coworker or a friend whether they're actually listening to you or not. If you can't tell, that means you're not listening either. So let's do presence by paying more attention and bringing ourselves back to the here and now, catching ourselves somewhere else in the future, in the past, and coming back to the here and now. It's actually muscle, and we can build this muscle. So avoid nothing, be as present as possible. I also like to talk about honoring yourself in life. Why is it so important to honor yourself? Because if you don't, a lot of us will get taken advantage of. There are a lot of decent people out there, a lot of well-intentioned people out there, but there are also a lot of self-absorbed people. And, and there are also a lot of people out there that have their own agenda. So if we're not careful about who we are and what we want and how we want to do life, others will influence, influence us and sometimes that's really negative. So let's consider the principle of learning how to truly honor ourselves by paying attention to what works for us and what doesn't. And when it doesn't work, we're going to say no. The fourth thing that I like to talk about, there's so many things I like to talk about, but I love to talk about living with bang up integrity. What does that mean? It means you're your word. If you say something, you mean it. If you change your mind, then you communicate about it. You don't just blow somebody off. And that includes texting and all kinds of forms of communication. Think about you if you're running your own business or even you're working for somebody else and you have bang up integrity. You're gonna get so much respect over time. When I'm working with teenagers, I start there because a lot of times their parents are frustrated that the kids aren't doing what they say or they're lying or they're avoiding the truth in some way. But when you have bang up integrity, people can trust you. So there's some basic principles of how to live a really cool life. Dr. Brett, psychologist, consultant, and coach.